So I just wanted to do a brief intro um, before the video, just to let you know that I filmed this video about three weeks ago now, maybe even longer. I do tend to film my videos quite a bit in advance because I work full time, I've got the kids. So yeah, I do tend to like film in advance. In light of the current crisis, I hope that you're all staying safe, staying well and remaining positive because I do appreciate that it's, it's an uncertain time where I'm sure many of us are just feeling so out of control of a lot of things right now and worried about things, worried about jobs, worried about health, just worried about everything, honestly. So I just wanted to come on here to just say that I'm sending my love to you all. I hope that the video that you're about to watch can maybe help distract you for a, a few minutes. And yeah, just stay safe, everyone. And we're all in this together. So anyway, with that being said, I will leave you with the video. Hello there and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be trying out an extravaganza of an eyeshadow palette. The palette we're going to be trying out today and believe me she she is big. She's big, she's proud, she's something else. So the palette today, the Secret Garden palette. So this is by the King Beauty online store and I completely forgot what I was going to say, but it's Biking Beauty. They did very kindly send it to me. I feel like I always need to make like a, quite a point of saying like, you know, saying when brands send me makeup because I just think it's really, really important that you are aware. Not that it would ever, ever change my review. I hope that, you know, for people that have been here a, a while now, I hope that you would know that. But anyway, like, I know you're, you're bored with this conversation now. So anyway, I'm going to show you the beautiful Secret Garden palette. So on the front of the palette, you have a beautifulness. Like, you've got roses, butterflies. It just looks really, really pretty. And inside of the palette is no different. So this palette features a palette-busting Oh, I did count this, but I've kind of forgot now because I've said so many things since I counted and numbers don't tend to stick in my mind for long. Um, you can ask the colleagues who I was in a budget meeting with on Friday that actually know and when she remembers no numbers. Like, just don't ask her anything about any any number. Don't ask her how much anything was. She has no idea. She will either look at you in the eye and just make something up or she'll just say I don't know I just don't know like literally like my manager asked me something the other day and he was like I went um how much is this and I said I don't know and he said could you just give me an estimate I said no because I'd basically be pulling it out of my ass and I don't want to do that so anyway so this palette features so we've got six nine so what's six times nine? 54. Is that right? Yeah, 54. Oh my gosh. Isn't it funny as well? I said like, is that right? As if there's someone in the corner of the room. There's no one in the corner of the room. Like there's no one. Not even Kat Von D. Like she's not even under my bed anymore. If you're a new viewer to my channel, you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, like what is this all about? Probably best not to ask. But um, so we've got 54, was it? I don't, I don't know. 54 eyeshadows in this palette. It is a, an absolute epic extravaganza. The palette itself is so pretty. I feel like you've got, you've got every colourful shade that you would ever really need. I was just going to start saying you've got the yellow, you've got the purple, the blue, but I'm not going to do that because I need to just keep reminding myself that you guys, you can see this. So yeah, there we go. You've you've also got shimmers, you've got mattes, and you've got glitters. Uh, there's just so much choice going on in the palette. Because there are so many shades, I, I just didn't have the time, honestly, to be swatching them all. So I did go ahead last night and I just kind of swatched a a few of them like I swatched as many as I could 
But then it, I, I got a bit bored. Like, honestly, guys, I know. Believe me, like, I'm, I'm a makeup junkie. I love to swatch. But I, I got a bit bored. No, I know. You're thinking, I'm an eater. How could you ever get bored? Come on. I, you can get bored of things. Like, even porn stars must get bored of stuff. Swatches were absolutely beautiful. I thought that the mattes weren't necessarily the most pigmented, but I still think that the colours are beautiful. What I was really impressed with was the shimmers. The shimmers were on a whole other level of shimmer. They were so reminiscent of Javaya's play shimmers. So metallic, so vibrant, so pigmented, so opaque, so smooth, so buttery, so fantastic i loved them wow okay so without further ado i'm just gonna get straight on into a look so this palette costs 30 dollars, and you can purchase her on the king beauty website i will include all of the links and details in the description box underneath this video should you want to go and check it out i have tried one other eyeshadow palette by king beauty um in the past and i cannot for the life of me remember the name because as we discussed i have no sh short-term memory whatsoever and i'm definitely going to end up with dementia when i'm older like it's in my dna so it's definitely happening and i think it started right now so without anything else that needs to be said or without me talking any longer i'm going to just begin a look i think i'm going to go for a pinky purple kind of look today because i feel it's only fitting because i myself am quite pink looking today i'm really really sorry about the hat about the the big cardigan and the thermals i was just freezing like absolutely freezing we, we've had storm sierra and then storm dennis came this weekend although storm dennis he did not last as long as storm sierra but i mean he's a man so is there any surprise and um, okay so guys i am just gonna go ahead i'm gonna pop some concealer over my lids and then we're gonna begin i do have a um tinted moisturizer on today so i've got a tiny bit of coverage um but i am going to also be applying foundation after i've done that eyeshadow just to complete the look i don't do not want to be half assed so i'm going to just um do this setting business with my eyes and then we we'll, we should be ready like we should be ready probably not i'll probably think of something else to say that is probably not really important or related to anything to do with this video but anyway do you know what i'm just wondering should i put in contacts because i've been trying out these new contacts recently and I'm, i've been really like getting into them so i'm thinking that i'm going to i have um the blue set here so i'm going to try and put these in and if i find that it's taking too long to get them in i'm not going to but i'm just going to give it a go because i feel like a little bit like why not Okay, so I completely gave up on the contacts because it was just taking too long. It took two minutes, but that, that's way too long in my book when I've got a beautiful eyeshadow palette to play around with. So I have just put a little bit of um, concealer on my lid and we are going to begin. I am going to start with Begonia. So this palette is mainly named after um, flowers and plants although like i don't really i don't know i don't really know what like i'm not a horticulturalist what do you call them horticulturalist i don't know but i know some like i know daisy i know begonia i know gladioli eyes uh, there's one here called coxcomb i believe that if i was a flower i would be a coxcomb like i really do so we're going to begin with begonia which is a beautiful um pink Okay, so she's definitely pigmented. Like, you can definitely see her there. She's come to town. She said, hey, hey, girl, I'm here. I'm ready to make your lid look fabulous. Not disappointed, guys. I really, really like the shade. And you know what as well, like, I'm noticing is that a lot of these kind of bright, colourful shades, I find they tend to just um, kind of 
you know, they fade away as you blend them, which I suppose is to be expected, but this one, it seems to be like retaining a really good amount of pigment. So I'm really, really liking that. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pop that same shade just on the inner corner. Okay, so I'm really, really liking how that's looking. And I'm gonna take this pink and I'm gonna pop a little bit just under the eye at this side and then a little bit under the eye this side. So I'm just basically gonna mirror what I've done on the top underneath. You know what, I'm really quite amazed actually by how pigmented the shadows are like, well, I've only tried one, but <laughs> I'm like really, really impressed with this one so far. It's a really, really good hot pink. Okay, so now that I have done that, I am going to actually go in with a little bit of Tulip, which is a much softer, it's kind of like a coral shade, I would say. But well, I'm going to go in with this and I'm just going to use it to kind of buff out the edges of the first shade that I put down. Oh, I really, really love that shade. I, oh, I've got all brown on my teeth. Can you see? Oh, guys, you know what? That's the only problem about all brown. It really does kind of, I don't know, it gets in between your teeth and also it makes you poop like you are going for the world record of pooping. Okay, so I'm going to get a little bit more of Tulip. I'm just going to kind of build this up. This is an absolutely drop dead gorgeous shade. I don't have a shade quite like this in any of my other eyeshadow palettes, like none of them. I would say that this is a true coral shade. I really, really like it. Okay, so I actually really want to build up this, um, the first pink shade we put down. If you don't like pink, this definitely will not be your favorite look, I don't think. But I'm just gonna add a little bit more of the pink, just, you know, just like in the outer V. Just gonna take it, you know, all the way over. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with a violet, which is this a beautiful um purple or violet, I suppose violet. Um, did you see as I was like looking at it, I was kind of just looking round. I don't know if you could see that, but I was looking round to see which other shade I could use, and I've found one actually. I am not loyal at all to any of the shades I pick. I'm actually gonna go in with Dahlia. This is the most beautiful kind of aubergine. Mm -hmm. I just want to kind of add a little bit of like <clears throat> like intensity. So I'm just gonna pop that I don't know where I'm popping it, maybe just in the outer V, um, maybe a little bit in the middle, I have no idea, but I'm going to pop it somewhere, just somewhere. Okay, so I really, really like the aubergine shade. I just feel like it's added a much needed va va boom like depth to the look. So next I am going to pop a little bit of concealer just in the middle part of my, do you know what I'm really tempted to do? But I actually think it's way beyond my skill level. And I actually, um, I don't think it will be very good. I think it'll be a disaster. So now probably isn't the best time to try this, but I'm going to anyway. I am because I'm wild and I'm reckless. So I saw one of my very favorite makeup artists and creators on Instagram, uh, Voodoo Barbie. She's, oh my gosh, she is so good. So good at makeup. But I saw her the other day create, um, let me just show you. So. It, it is this look here. It was for Valentine's Day and as you can see, she's kind of drawn a little heart on her eyelid. So I'm really, really tempted to do that today. And I know it's gonna be a disaster, but I believe that in life you should always try things. So I'm gonna give it a go today. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get some concealer and I'm going to try 
like I'm going to really try and create a heart on my lid. Like this was not part of the plan, but that's where we're going. So thank you so much to Voodoo Barbie for providing me some fantastic inspiration today. I'm talking at her photo like she's here, but she she's not. Um unless she's hiding under the bed with a uh, cat von D. I don't know. But anyway guys, I'm gonna get my concealer. I'm gonna do this in silence because I I just I mean it's gonna be a disaster. Like it really really is. But do you know what I'm doing it? I'm doing it. Okay, so I'm going to use uh, some of this cut crease canvas. This is from Makeup Revolution. Uh, so I've just popped some on my hand. And, oh my gosh, like I feel like I need the tiniest brush. Oh, do you know what I feel like doing? I feel like getting, and I don't know if this is like going to be a good idea or not, but I feel like using like you know pencil or a little liner to dip in and like draw it on is that cheating i feel like that is totally cheating but i've never really been against like cheating before to get what i want i'm joking like oh, I, like i'm really really joking one time actually though when i was in in school so i'm going to just tell you this and i'm looking for a light colored pencil so i can go ahead and cheat but when i was back at school uh, studying French um part of the kind of GCS GCSE assessment was that you had to go into like a little room and you had to you had a tape recorder there because this was like back in the 1990s I don't know it was a long time ago so we had like a tape recorder and you had to like go in you had to record yourself speaking something like a monologue in French and I hadn't prepared or planned anything and also I was terrible at French so I just went in I don't think I even pressed record I just went in did nothing and then came out 15 minutes later so then I was just like half expecting that my French teacher was going to say hey Anwen do you know nothing re recorded there was nothing on the tape they never said anything uh, but the most shocking thing about it wasn't that they never said anything. It was that I got a B in French. I don't know how I got that B. What happened? Like, or do you know what my speculation is? Is that the French teachers, they just, they couldn't be asked listening to the tapes. So they thought, you know what? We're not listening to these fecking tapes. We're just going to go off what the student was like in class and we'll just make up a mark. And I definitely think that happened, like, honestly. But anyway, guys, so I found this eyeliner by Urban Decay. It is the shittiest eyeliner ever. I spent about a million pounds on this and it doesn't even, like, it doesn't even show up. Well, it does a bit, but... It's not good enough. So I'm going to dip this in. I feel like this is just like either going to be the best idea in the world or the most tragic idea ever. So I'm just going to go, I'm just going to draw my heart. Oh my gosh, I say that like it, it's easy. It's not. looks nothing like a heart does it guys I mean it really doesn't do you know what I feel like the the idea was there the the want was there like I was very motivated about this but it's definitely not worked and I just think it's the fact that I do not have 21 year old eyelids anymore so yeah that was an epic epic disaster so forget the heart. I'm just going to turn this into a a kind of spotlight eye, I think. I mean, you can't really blame a girl for trying, can you guys? I gave it a good go, but it just was not to be, sadly. You know what, though? It's a good way of actually creating quite a neat, you know, it's kind of cut crease or spotlight eye. I feel like I'm going to use that going forward. Just, you know, like, you know, instead of like going straight in with concealer if you kind of create a heart I feel like it actually I don't know I feel like this is the neatest kind of cut crease ever do you know what I must have had a bit of glitter on this brush because I can see glitter on my lid I'm just gonna blend the edges a little bit oh no I'm not I'm gonna just go straight in I'm gonna go straight in with the glitter so today how could I possibly use 
sorry, I'm just worried I'm getting concealer from my hand on my top. But how could I possibly use anything other than this one? Look at her. She's so gorgeous. She's called Tracolium. I have no idea what that is. But we're going to be using her today. Tracolium. Oh, yes. Tracolium. Yes, bitch, yes. And we're just going to pop, pop it on. Mm. No, I'm not doing that. Fair kit. Forget, forget I did that. It was a mistake. I'm going to go in with the shimmer. I completely forgot to go in with the shimmer. So the shimmer today I'm going to go in with is going to be Jasmine, which is this shade here. It kind of looks really blue there, but in person it looks more of, it looks like an icy silvery blue, but there it looks really blue. Anyway, who cares? Nobody. So I'm just going to get a little bit of this. Oh my gosh, it feels so beautiful. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my gosh, it looks so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, that is an absolutely beautiful shimmer. Like, absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Shut the front door, for I have found the one. Next, I'm just going to get the beautiful... Um, mm, okay, so I'm actually going to go in with... I think I might try a little bit of poinsettia, which is a kind of brick red. And then if I don't like it, I'm just going to go back in with Dahlia, which is the aubergine. And I'm just going to blend out the edges of the spotlight. Do you know what? I'm changing my mind. I'm changing my mind. I'm not doing that. I'm going to go in with this shade here called Pansy, which is a beautiful, beautiful, super dark purple. I'm going to go in with Pansy and I'm just going to pop this, you know, just round the edges. Do you know what? I can hear birds singing outside and I feel like it sounds really strange because I've not heard birds singing outside for ages. I did not like that shade so I'm just going to go back in with the aubergine. That moment when you just feel like you've spoiled everything. Like everything. Okay, so there we go, guys. There we go. Okay, so that's kind of the eye for now. I know, like, this is really pissing me off. This this um dark shade up there. And I am going to try and get rid of it. But I'm going to go ahead. And um, I just want to pop... A, oh, shit. Oh no, the concealer, it's gone everywhere. I mean, I should have known that was going to happen. I should have known, but anyway, it's fine. So, I am just going to finish off with a little bit of glitter. Um, and actually, I'm going to go in with the shade that sadly left the palette way too early. So this is um, called Pansy. It looks really like the most beautiful baby pink glitter. Um, it Most of it fell out. Like Most of it's on my floor right now, but... I'm just going to try and pop a little bit, a little bit just in the middle of the eye. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at that. That is really nice. Like, really, really nice. I'm going to pop a little bit more on. Okay, so, guys, that's one eye done. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to try and replicate what I've done on this eye or on this eye. And I will be back to show you the final look but so far I'm loving everything I'm loving everything apart from that one darker shade that has just pissed me right off but apart from that I love everything else <laughs>
Okay, so I finally finished the look. It took ages. I was fecking around. I was adding things like my makeup was going to be taken away from me. I was just like, oh my gosh, I must add these glitters. I must add this. I got the pink eyebrows. I got the chunky glitter. I just, everything has gone on my face today. I got carried away and I really felt like this eye look was kind of Valentine's-y and I know I'm I'm kind of late to Valentine's Day, but do you know what? That's fine because I think that Valentine's Day is a bullshit day. It makes people who are single feel bad and sad. And I just don't think it's necessary for people that are in long-term loving committed relationships. Why should you need one day to like, to show that you love someone? That should be obvious like every day. As I'm speaking, like there's just bits of glitter and stars just like falling in front of my eyes. But anyway, this is the final look. I used a Sparkle Fantasy Cosmetics uh, glitter on the lips and also around the eyes. I know it's OTT, but I, I'm i not going to the office. I'm actually very sadly going to be just like washing this all off after the video. I know my hair looks a mess. I know it does, like I know. Um. So yeah, the hair, oh, I've just had a hat on all day. So yeah, the hair looks terrible. But anyway, guys, so, so onto the palette. I was really, really impressed with this. Like really, really, really impressed. I always have a little bit of pessimism when I'm approaching a large oh gosh I literally can see like there's just like an avalanche of glitter just falling down to my eyes which I can't say that I'm hating but it just is throwing me off a bit you could probably see it on camera as well anyway I always feel a little bit pessimistic when approaching a massive feck off palette just because I think you know I well I always think it's going to be quantity or quality however I was so impressed with this palette. Like, I think that just by, you know, you, you being able to see how pigmented the shadows were, how easily they blended out, I, I think that you can see, like, that they were good. Um, I really, 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 really like this shimmer, although um, I wish that I got to try another one, but I can only blame myself for the fact that I tried one. Um, but I really, really like the shimmer. It was super s smooth and soft and magnetic magnetic no that's the wrong word metallic i was looking for the word metallic sorry guys it's been a super long day today and there was some police fans on the street last night and i was peeping out because i'm nosy like that and then i stayed up way past my bedtime normally i'm asleep by like 11 at the latest every night at the very latest i was up past midnight last night anyway guys i really really like this palette do i think it's worth 30 dollars um i think you could argue Yes, actually, because you get so many shades. The quality from what I've experienced today has been really, really impressive. And I think if, I don't know, this palette would make a really, really good gift for a new makeup junkie, someone like who is just getting into the habit. I think this would be a great, great palette for them to play around with um, because you've you basically got everything you need in the palette and you've also got the really good quality. So yeah, I really, really like the palette and I would recommend. I think it is actually really good value for money. So um, yeah, anyway guys, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna just go in the shower and I feel like, oh my gosh, I should be going to a party right now with this with this face but oh and also by the way let me tell you this I know my base makeup looks terrible but you know because I had like tinty moisturizer on and because I'm a lazy bones I thought you know what it's fine I'll just go ahead and I'll just pop a foundation on top of the tinted moisturizer it did not work it looked awful and it just looked terrible so then I had to end up getting all of that off and then putting foundation on against my like my base does not look great I know but Anyway guys, I just want to finish off the video saying thank you so much to King Beauty. They also sent me another palette which is called the Zodiac palette. I mean if you think the Secret Garden is an extravaganza, just wait till you see this. I mean this is the eyeshadow palette to end all eyeshadow palettes. I mean look at this. Just get a load of that guys. So I am going to be trying out this palette at some point in the very near future so if you're interested in that then you know stay tuned if you're new to my channel you could subscribe but you don't have to it's fine 
you don't have to like I always feel like super cringy saying oh subscribe to my channel I just think like I don't like asking people to do things so it just doesn't feel quite right but anyway guys I'm gonna go thank you so much for watching the video and I hope that you have a great rest of the day yes okay bye